What's up everybody, I'm Mir and welcome back to another tutorial. And today we're gonna take a look at a keycard locked door. This design is a modified and better version of a design I used in my last Faustin video. So we have a keycard locked door and how it works is whenever you throw your keycard into that hopper, the door opens for a second, you can walk through, pick up your keycard again and go about your business. But if you don't have the keycard, well then ju you just can't enter the door and if you try to throw anything else in the hopper, it doesn't work as well. So you can only enter whenever you throw a keycard into the hopper. This design is 4 by 6 blocks and what you see right in front of me is the floor plan. So this is the floor level. You're gonna place your door on that red block but you're gonna do it facing sideways. So the door is open when you place it and you're gonna walk in through this way. Then this hopper over here is where we're gonna drop our key card to open the door. Now we're gonna get our blocks out and make kind of a weird shape. So let me build it first and then we can take a look at it afterwards. You got this shape? Good, then we can go on with placing some redstone components. We're gonna have a comparator here, some redstone dust, then a repeater facing this way, and a redstone torch over here. For the next part, you wanna come down over here, place three blocks, remove the back two, and place two more blocks next to it. Place two redstone dust on the first, and a comparator on the last one. Grab, grab your barrel and place them right over here. Then fill the barrel up with wooden swords until one slot is remaining. Don't fill this last one up or the contraption will not work. Now we're gonna grab our blocks again and make a platform like this. Put a redstone comparator facing this way. Put a redstone comparator facing the other way. Click them both so they're on subtract, click this one as well, and now place redstone dust on all of those. Then to finish it off, place a redstone torch over here. Now for the last part of this contraption, we need to get the key card back to the user. And to do that, we're gonna punch a hole through the glass over here, put a dispenser and put the glass back, then run a hopper line, so let's get underneath, right like this, so first at the back, then to the side, and then all the way around like that and then to finish it off we just need to place a observer right over here facing this way into another block so let's grab another block and place it over there and that's the whole contraption finished but it's not set up completely we also need to install the key cards so to set up this item filter you're gonna go to this hopper place in just a random item which occupies each and every slot except the first, 18 in the second, and then you're gonna place your key card in the first slot, and then you just wanna drop these in, wait for the door to open, wait a bit, wait for the door to close, drop it in again, and you keep doing that until a key card appears on the other side of the door, so it should be this one, now there should be a key card in there, and if we drop it one more time, a key card should dispense and we can pick it up and now the system is ready to use so if you drop in another key card we can just drop that was unfortunate now how does this system work well to answer that question we need to look at a couple of redstone concepts first one is signal strength a redstone signal can travel up to 15 blocks and that number how far it can travel is called the signal strength. And different kinds of power sources give different kinds of signal strength. And that leads us to concept number two, which is a comparator. A comparator has a couple of functions. First of all, you have a mode where it can detect items from in another container, like a hopper or a barrel, which are both used in this design. Then also there's a comparing mode where it can compare signals to each other and also a subtracting mode where it can subtract signals from each other. How those are explained, I'll get around to when we get to the circuit that uses them. But for this first circuit that we use, the item filter, we only need to understand that it can detect how many items are in that hopper. And if that hopper gets one more item in it, that 
the comparator will update the signal strength of the redstone line next to it so the signal will go down to the repeater to the torch which unlocks the hopper which lets the item through thus creating an item filter now the next part is pretty simple we need to get that key card back and to do that the item travels to a few hoppers they got locked and unlocked based on how they are powered but we don't need to worry about that for this contraption they will just slowly transfer through the system until they reach that dispenser and once the system is activated so once you put a key card in once the comparator updates once the redstone signal protrudes to that observer over there that observer detects on hey th this signal strength has updated i need to power a block after me so that does that that block powers the dispenser and you key card gets shot up before we can understand the next part of our system i need to explain to you how comparator works a comparator can take an input signal from three sides the two sides and the back and it compares those against each other and does some calculation and based on those calculations it outputs a signal with a certain signal strength and in subtract mode which is what we use over here it takes the signal from the back subtracts it from the signal on the side and output a signal strength based on that so in our example we have a barrel with a signal strength of 14 because we almost filled it up and we get a signal from the side which also has 14 so those, those two minus each other means zero but if we put an item into our system the item filter triggers the torch turns off which removes the signal from the side which now has a signal strength of zero so 14 minus zero is 14 so the comparator outputs a signal so when that happens that torch on that block turns off and our door opens now that would mean our door only opens for like a fraction of a second because our item fil filter is really quickly. So to extend that system we use a circuit called a pulse extender. Which are those two comparators to the side. And oh boy this is gonna be a not complicated one. So our comparator on the left outputs a signal strength of 14 which is transferred to that redstone. Then that comparator checks it and says hey that's 14 I'm gonna open 14 as well. But then, because there's two pieces of redstone, the signal strength lessens. So the other comparator sees a 13, so it outputs a 13, which then transfers to a 13, to 12, 11, and it counts down. It's just a slow timer that counts down until it's zero. And then the torch turns on again, which closes the door. So there you have it a key card locked door. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what I should do a tutorial on next. And if you liked the video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe and all the good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.